When we met, you were working as a producer um, and you you wanted to make that transition to the creative side. Um, and if it's fair to say, I remember you being very frustrated, which I remember at the time when I was making my transition, I was very frustrated because, you know, you want to leave, you're ready to leave, but the opportunity isn't there yet. Or maybe you don't even know what how to make your moves yet. So yeah. can you talk about that time in your life? Um when you were yeah. feeling frustrated and what you kind of did to start making the moves? Yeah, you know, I think that the great compromise that I've made in my life was, you know, choosing a career in entertainment, which people will say is like, not stable, but choosing the stable job in the career of entertainment, which kind of locked me into eight years of, you know, being at a corporation doing um, a somewhat diluted form of creative because you're working for a major brand and, you know, having that itch to leave only grows stronger once you realize that, you know, the mo like uh, the upward mobility isn't even there at a corporation or there's a number of factors that just make it more difficult you know, in that kind of space as a black woman, even because, you know, I hadn't seen anyone um, who looked like me in that kind of job there where, you know, I had a lot of, you know, creative things I could do, but they were always, you know, there was always a limitation of, you know, there's always like <laughs> the limit of what you could actually pull off there. Um, and as time went on, um, and I, you know, found myself booking stand up shows and being, you know, very immersed in the comedy scene, I realized that was actually what I loved. And like, it's funny to find out like, you know, something that you thought was like supposed to be the thing you loved, and then finding later on something that you actually love and noticing the difference between those two things. And so it became, you know, very uncomfortable, you know, to stay in a world where I knew I wasn't fully being able to express myself. Mm -hmm. And, um, and towards the end, I had decided to make my first, like, you know, short that I was going to show to the world. And just like, you know, trying to do that delicate balancing act of like, nobody, you know, at my workplace can know about this, or else it's gonna get me in trouble, which, you know, I had gotten in trouble <laughs> many times prior to that for smaller things that just seem to be conflicts of interest. And so you have all these pressures of like, okay, you know, some people will get rewarded for the things they do outside of work. And I'm in a situation where I'm gonna get punished for the things I'm doing outside of yeah. work. Um, and so I had to, I had to leave, but leaving stability is really hard, especially after you've had stability, you know, and it's so very I scary. Some, yeah, I sometimes like envy the idea of like, you know, maybe have just been freelance from the jump because then I would, you know, feel like I could get a handle on that feeling of instability because I think everyone does have to put themselves in that situation for even a moment to be able to grow, you know? And so I wasn't growing being stable, you know? Oh, that is such a great uh, point. I really love that because I feel that there were so many points in my career where I would be in, I would be so like internally, um, I guess, what is the word? Um, just, you know, at war with myself, <laughs> like really just internally in a lot of pain. And I didn't notice in those moments that that was growth. You know, I didn't yeah. recognize that being in this world that I don't recognize, like, because I'm from, I used to work in politics. I used to work um, at in higher ed. I used to have these like very structured, very safe careers. And now I'm in this situation where um, I'm, I'm not quite comfortable. Um, and there was so much discomfort in growth and so much fear in growth. And so much of my growth has been 
being okay and like being calm in these moments yeah. when I am feeling lost or I'm, you know, dealing with a disappointment or I'm dealing with a um, failure that's very public <laughs> when these failures yeah. used to be very private, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just such a personally, um, it's, it's an experience that grows you personally, you know, as a human being, I've grown up a lot. Um, from being exposed to being in the re arena, you know, of having yeah. to um, put yourself out there and, you know, and work. <laughs> and it yeah. just comes with a lot, a lot of personal growth. So I re I'm really, I, I really love the way that you, you said that. So, so you're finding yourself um, uncomfortable in um, sort of the, the insecure, inconsistent... <laughs> Um, lifestyle of being a freelancer. Um, so what have you sort of done to, um, I guess, make it work for you? I think that um, it's so funny. Like, and the answer shouldn't be therapy. <laughs> <laughs> that is so um, funny. So I think that I had pushed off like therapy as like a real th necessity 